but that's not happening what's happening is on the contrary well, i would you might want to say no, it's isolated enough. but Your it's not isolated for the people of the country because they are seeing what's happening there fair enough it's not fair about enough. what somebody is talking anand your question is fair no your question is fair but i won't arrive at any hasty decisions or conclusions so fast a visit has taken place there have been positive aspects of it this has been a matter of concern let us wait if we i don't think we should draw any conclusions yet let us wait no no the point is that all the other visits and all the other talks have also anand, not materialized anand. nawaz sharif uh, narendra modi happened the foreign secretary level talks got cancelled whatever be the reason he went to japan anand, he came back with 35 billion dollars worth of investment over the last uh, next 5 years but the nuclear deal fell through so i we, we don't know exactly whether the talk is actually working maruf raza i i'm sorry you're using incorrect no, words yeah, some uh, ground was made on it it hasn't concluded yet There's a difference between the two. Anand, Anand, Anand. I can't believe the lackadaisical way in which Anand, the BJP Anand. is reacting to this. The army chief has cancelled this trip to Bhutan because of the incursion, and they're taking that you know let's relax and see how it pans out. This is a question of national security. When the incursions happen during the Congress, no, I'm merely telling you that the government the is working. Today, no, no, no. Mr. Keswar, the, the, the government is not holidaying abroad. Let you come. As you know, mostly no, no, the leadership please. used to. No, no. Don't I just want you to know. There's a prime minister who works. Your red herrings are pathetic. Your red herrings are pathetic. You're talking about national security here. When the incursions happened, you know, in 2000. So why are you going fishing now? Led by the BJP. Where are all these herrings the coming from? Yes. Stop now, fishing. Let's the, get down to the point. Prime Minister, along with the Rashtrapati, when the Prime Minister, along with the Rashtrapati, you received the Chinese President, incursions were still happening. Is it the way to run, you know, the national interest of a country? I think the BJP should be ashamed. The where well, I mean, happens, Mr. Kesha, is from the times of Mr. Nehru to Sir Indira Anand, Gandhi Anand, to Rajiv Anand. Gandhi, oh, please, Narsimha no, Rao, no, and well, Dr. Manmohan Singh and Sonia Gandhi was the de facto Prime Minister. No, please. So I wish your Nathula, grand Nathula, advice Nathula, was available Nathula, to Nathula, so many Nathula, eminent Nathula, people in your party. Nathula, rebuttal happened in 1967 during the Congress time. And please, perhaps no, if Mr. No, if, no, if, no, if no, perhaps no, if perhaps if Prime Minister, please get your perhaps if Prime Minister Nehru, perhaps if Prime Minister Nehru had more time instead of romanticizing with what the reality is. You wouldn't have had happened. this problem. Well, well, Mr. C. R. Keshavan, the simple question to you is: Why do you have to go back to the 1980s to show that something happened in a Congress regime? Why no, can't you no. tell? Because I'm talking you... about now. No, no. What, Today, what, what happened the, between? The Congress party, as I told you, Anand, Anand. In the last 10 years, we had a very calibrated approach. We didn't go overboard. We didn't go overboard. You know, placing. You know, <laughs> inaction is calibration. That's funny, Mr. Keshavan. Which is what they did. Inaction is calibration. Something did not. This is so funny. Well, well, Mr. Modi ji, we give him credit now. Mr. Keshavan, something went awfully wrong with the calibration. First, because if 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 the calibration was right, then you would have been in power. Congress would have still been in power. Maru Fraza. That's an amazing yes, use of uh, language. Raised the issue with the Chinese president. What is the what is the response of the Chinese after the prime minister has raised this issue? What happened to the assurances? Why do the incursions still happen? Why at least, the at least, Mr. Keshavan, there was an assurance. It was there was an assurance on Indian foil by a Chinese president. It's not happened in the UPA regime. Maru Fraza. Yes, Maru Fraza. You don't have a full-time defense minister to answer. Mr. Casey Singh, coming across to you. That shows your interest. Mr. Casey Singh, coming across to you in just. Anand, Anand, Mr. K C Singh, coming across to you. Yes, yes, Maru Fraza. Me too. Yes, Professor Bala, okay, coming across to you. Okay, let me sort of put things in historical me. context, right? Uh, sir, uh, just let me make yes, three or four quick points. The first is that Mr. Kohli's point about whatever response they are giving to the Chinese and whatever was expected out of the Chinese president's visit, it's quite clear now. Not much has emerged. as per the expectations however my humble request to you sir and to your party men is please do not delink national border and national security with economic activities as was the case in past with the chinese they okay. have to be told right, you have okay. to have access to the indian market you have to behave on india's borders that's my first point yes. the second point is uh, the congress spokesperson said that nathula and sundram chu happened in the P upa and the congress led government's tenure let me tell you in both cases it was military commanders who took the initiative the politicians were dithering Three. go back into historical records the third point i wish no, no, to make that mr kohli made that the army doesn't have enough equipment because of the delays that were done in terms of purchases and yes the wish list of the armed forces hasn't been fulfilled because they have a toll wish list but the armed forces still have 20 to 30 days of wwr which is good enough 
to fight short, sharp battles, and that is what the subcontinental environment will provide us. Finally, my last point is that we haven't done enough, even now with the new government, to alter Chinese perception about India. Yes. They still seem to see us as an argumentative people with incoherent foreign policy. We have to get across a message to them that we are collectively behind the Prime Minister and we will take steps in the national interest even if they are see seen to be detrimental to diplomacy as some diplomats might be worried that all the good work of right. the last 30, 40 years will go down the drain. China understands military muscle flexing. We have to do a bit of that. Well, and they believe that they have more of it than India does. Uh, very clearly, even if you go by what the Chinese president had to say, Professor Madhubala, I appreciate your patience. Uh, do go ahead. You had a point to make. Yes, my point is, why does everything degenerate into a war cry? Right now, what we're looking at on the border is what has been happening on the border for a very long time. Right? And basically, it's a positioning of both our four armies, both the Indian and the Chinese armies, trying to resolve what we think is the LAC. I think we have a political process in place where our, senior, uh, our special representatives are talking about the border. I think there's some urgency, both from Narendra Modi as well as from Xi Jinping, on resolving the, LA, on the, resolving the border issue. I don't think we need to let this degenerate into a war cry. No, but, but, but then why, 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 why say, is it, okay, we can win a why is the true build-up happening? No, China. Professor Bala, the question First is, all, if, you believe, is if you believe there is political no, it's engagement, not a situation. No, if you, Professor Bala, if you believe there is political well, engagement, you, why is the true build-up happening? Yeah. If there is political engagement, why is the true build-up happening? No, no, no. No, no, no. This, this is a prelude to political engagement. No, are are you trying to, to say escalation of tension at the border is prelude to political engagement? Why table, should that be a precursor? Whatever the new why should that be a precursor? This no, is I know, not, just this because, is, just because no, no, two... One second, please. This is not, I, this is not my words. I'm not saying tension on the border has been escalated. No, one second. As I said before, this is a recreation of the status quo. This is a change of the status quo as far as the Chinese are concerned. We don't have to accept that. We should actually uh, protest against that. But the fact of the matter is that is a limited tactical uh, uh, tactical objective that the Chinese have. The Chinese do not have the objective of walking into India at this point, nor do they have the objective of starting a war on the border. I think we should understand that and bring some reason to this debate. No, no. The other thing, of course, is that we have to contend that and we have to also say that our status quo is the one that we adhere to. But these are positions we will then bring to the table with the senior, with the no, special but, but this is a long stated so really, position. I think we you yourself said, Professor Balla, Professor Balla, you yourself India. said this because is a long stated position. This is a long is stated issue in terms of perception mm -hmm. of the line of actual control. Why, why should it be now, especially what the question is when you have two heads of state sitting across the table acknowledging the issue of the border, shouldn't there be a de-escalation of, of uh, you know, troop mobilization at the borders just to show that the political network is in control of what's happening with the army or with the forces or there is a translation of the talk down on ground. That is not, that is not evident. So who do we trust? What do we trust? The walk or the talk? Well, perhaps, you know, perhaps, perhaps our assumption that Xi Jinping is in con complete control of the PLA is not entirely true. I think if you look at that, uh, his speech to the PLA uh, commanders meeting on Sunday, first thing he said was the PLA has to be loyal to the party, which means that there are some questions there about loyalty to the party on behalf of the PLA. There has been a shake-up of the PLA and I think Xi Jinping is still doing that shake-up, which merely means that perhaps he is not able to completely control the uh, PLA and direct them as to exactly what should be done on the ground. I think you need to give him some time. He has said he will look into the matter and he will do something about it. I'm not espousing the Chinese position. All I'm saying is that I think we are assuming too, giving too much power to Xi Jinping within a transitional phase of the reorganization of so, the PLA itself. So, so, so what is Professor Balla saying, uh, Maru Fraza here? We must take that here. into account, which is not to say that we must not keep insisting that the Chinese move off. No, no, no. But, but is this what a, a Pakistan-like situation that the government or the or the, or the yeah. ruling head of state has no control over the army, and is that a similar situation in China? Because then it is double trouble for India. No. We, what do we look at, and who 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 engages? Who do you engage with then? Well, well, Anand, Anand. No, 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 please. Uh, no, no. Anand, you see, no, I, I, I think, mean, I think, I, I think that would be the most it, foolish comparison to I've make. Been saying so, if that's not the comparison that you should make. I don't think China is Pakistan. I don't think Xi Jinping as the, uh, as the, 
No, no, that's not the comparison you should be making. Completely, I think Xi Jinping is uh, Anand, has concentrated Anand, his power to and authority in China, but I think there has been a shake-up in the PLA that is still un been undergoing. PLA is still undergoing, and I think we should take give him some time to sort this one out at his uh, end. No, sir. Time at what cost and for what? Because you, you uh, th this issue of peace is worrying. The issue about our borders being, uh, you know, uh, China asserting its presence at our border is worrying, and these reports are increasing, Maruf. Yes, you had a point to make. Anand, I'd, I'd like to agree with the professor generally because the point she's making is, is what I've made since morning, that if President Xi is said to be as powerful that he is, apparently people have been writing to say that he's the most powerful political leader they've had since Mao Zedong, then why is the army operating as a separate entity outside his control? Exactly. Or is it part of a larger Chinese orchestration wherein President Xi had promised the Chinese a double dream, which is, I'll make you wealthier and I will claim all historical heritage of China and make it stronger, which implies, you know, eating up territory. Now, what has happened in Ladakh prior to this incursion and prior to last year's incursion, on both occasions, senior political and military commanders visited the forward post Last year in August, it was the Politburo members. This time, it was the vice chairman of the CMC. So, therefore, quite clearly, this is an exercise which is happening with consent at the highest level. May not be with by the president himself, but others who are trying to sort of test his power base. See, so, there is a bit of a struggle happening internally in China. But well, certainly, China is not Pakistan. I mean, China has moved away. And China is clearly, uh, the Communist Party is supreme. It was never a military dictatorship as in Pakistan with men on horseback. But, but China has had a different model of governance. The only issue is that the Chinese military is equally aggressive for a variety of reasons. And I don't want to list that out because no, of time no, constraints. You know, but I, primarily territory. Their status in society, getting more weapon systems, no. justifying what happens in China goals, is China's concern. For what China's China's happens at our border is our concern, Maruf Raza. And if you are saying there are that, that the president is in control, then it has to it has to reflect at the border. If Narendra Modi and the NDA Not government entirely. is in control, it saying. has to what reflect at the border. Said, because as a viewer, and I'm, I'm speaking saying. for our viewers here, that it has to the tension at the borders have to de-escalate for us to believe that India and China are making headroads as far as border is concerned. Acknowledgement on the one side action on the other that is, more is why anand, we are that winding is why up anand i've got to, I've that got is why anand yes that is why that is why anand i am saying a certain amount of military muscle, muscle flexing at a tactical level will give the pla commanders on the ground but right a now but right now maruf raza the muscle flexing is actually happening from the chinese side out of india is only reacting it is not be, it is not being proactive it is not setting the terms it is just following what is happening and it is reacting to what china is doing and that's not encouraging gentlemen Absolutely. and and professor Absolutely. bhalla thanks I for joining us you. i've got to wind up this edition of the uh, the debate number 1 here on the news hour tonight we're running out of time thank you for joining us